Hi, this is Mike from BandLab, and in this video, we're going to make a break chord beat in BandLab's free online DAW. You can open this project yourself with the link in the video description. And if you find this guide useful, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be the first to know when new videos drop. I start by setting the project tempo to a speedy 185 beats per minute, and the project key to A minor. I want to start out with some chopped up breakbeats, so I open up BandLab Sounds and enter Jungle into the text search field. I open the 90s Jungle Pack and set the instrument filter to drum. I drag J165 Amen Chop 8 bar into the project. This gives me a pre-programmed 8 bars of heavy breakbeats, but I want to create my own pattern. So I place the playhead at the end of the first bar, and press the S key to slice the audio clip. I delete the second clip so that I just have a single bar. The second snare has a kick under it. But I'd like this to play the regular snare again, so I slice the clip on the second snare and delete it. I then slice the clip on the first snare, and duplicate the snare clip over. To duplicate clips or notes in BandLab, hold Option on Mac or Alt on Windows, and drag them into the new position. I duplicate this bar out. I'd like the second bar to start with two kicks, so I truncate the kick with the handle at the bottom right hand corner of the clip, then duplicate it over. I'd also like the second snare clip to sound different, so I double click it and bring up the editor panel. And I set its pitch shift to plus 12 to pitch shift it up an octave. I then duplicate these bars out. And the second time around, I set the pitch shift to minus 12, so the snare clip is pitch shifted down an octave. I now have a 4 bar breakbeat sequence that I can base the rest of the elements around. However, before I add other elements, I want to distort this breakbeat to give it a rough breakcore feel. In the effects panel, I add a distortion. BL driver effect. I turn the tone knob all the way up so that the sound isn't dulled. I turn this track down to minus 6 dB so that I have headroom in the mix to add other elements. I want to layer up this chopped up beat with something less hectic, so I drag J170 Break Supreme 4 bar into the project. I set this track to minus 1.5 dB. Now it's time to start adding some musical elements. I know I'd like some ravey stab noises in this track, so in BandLab Sounds I search for Rave, and open the Rave 2020 pack. Rave 2020 Synth 04 is the kind of sound I want. But I want to be able to program my own pattern. So I add a sampler track, and drag the loop into the first sample pad. I use the sample start and sample end markers to isolate this note in the middle of the loop. I also want a version of the stab that plays an octave down, so I duplicate the first sample pad. Like the notes and clips, you can duplicate sample pads by holding Option on Mac or Alt on Windows and dragging them over. To pitch the new version of the sample down, I set its pitch knob to minus 12. I sequence a pattern for the stab that plays an octave down at the end of the four bars. I'd like this part to have more movement, so in the effects panel I add a modulation phase 45 effect, setting the rate to 4.1. I then add a delay filter echo. I set the mix to 22% and the delay to 324 milliseconds. I set this track's volume level to plus 4.3 dB.
Now I'd like to add a bass line. I create a new virtual instrument track and set the instrument to basses, synth basses, soft sign bass. I sequence in a dub inspired bass line that hits the A, E, and D. It has an extra note on the end the second time around. I set this track to minus 6 dB. I want to add some further dub elements, so in BandLab Sounds, I search for dub. I open the Roots and Dub pack and drag Roots and Dub Skanking 10 into the project. I set this track to minus 3.2 dB to balance it with the other elements. I'd also like a vocal, so I drag Roots and Dub Vocals Lead 06 into the project. I'd like the first part of this vocal to repeat, so I duplicate the whole 4 bar sequence, then slice the first version of the vocal, and repeat the first part. I'd like this vocal to have a dub style delay effect on it, so I add a delay filter echo. I set the delay to 324 milliseconds. I turn this track down to minus 1.3 dB. I feel like I have a good foundation for the track at this point, but before I arrange it, I'd like to create a B section with a Reese synth. I duplicate the existing 8 bar sequence out, and the second time around I delete the stab, bass, keys, and vocal parts. I add a new instrument track, and set it to keyboards, synth leads, 2 saw detune. I set this track to minus 9 dB. I program in a simple 4 bar sequence that hits the A, D sharp, E, and A sharp. I loop this clip out for the whole 8 bars using the loop handle at the top right hand corner of the clip. I want to rough this sound up too, so in the effects tab I add a BL driver with a drive of 3.7, a volume of 2.6, and a tone of 16 kilohertz. Next I add a modulation chorus ensemble with an effect level of 9.4, a depth of 3.8, and a rate of 6.6. Next comes a reverb, spring reverb, with an intensity of 3.2. Then I add a tone multi-filter. I set the filter type to notch. Set the frequency to 454 Hz and the Q to 1.5. I then duplicate the MIDI part over to the bass track so that the bass line doubles up the Reese line. For the arrangement, I start with just the supreme break and the keys.
Then the vocal and bass line come in. Then the Amen beat comes in, with the vocal dropping out to focus on the beats. Then the vocal comes back in. The B section comes in next. After 8 bars, the vocal joins the mix again too. Then it's time for the rave step. Again this repeats and is joined by the vocal. We then switch up to the keys. After that, it's time for the B section again. This time the B section is joined by the rave staff. Next we have something of a more laid back section where the Amen drops out. And we just have the supreme break plus the bass and keys. The vocal is then added. For the outro of the track, it's breaks and bass, and a section with the rave step, too. You can fork this project to make your own version of it using the link in the video description. Have fun!